First, let's have a look at what our classifier function actually does. So we have one parameter, m, and uh, yeah, only two choices which we are supposed to evaluate. The one is m equals one, and the other one is m equals minus one. So for our function that we are given, y equals the sine of m times x i, we get these two choices. So for m equals one, we have something like this. It jumps up and then is here at one again. And for the other choice, for m equals minus one, we get something that jumps down and continues over here. So two choices and now we want to evaluate which one works better on these two parameters that we actually have. So or, or features that we have. So let's let's have a look at this and the first thing we want to do is we want to compute y of these parameters and we do that by well, according to this function, rounding. So rounding, but in a in a bit weird sense, so that every positive number gets rounded up to one, because we're only doing this for m equals one now, or every negative value gets rounded down to minus one. So let's have a look at how this becomes. So the first value should be one, 1, minus 1, 1, and so on. Let's have a look. Here we actually have it. 1, 1, minus 1, 1. And now we're supposed to compute the accuracy in each of these cases. So what we do is we actually compare. We compare this, val this column over here with the last column over here. And we can see that this one is correct. The next one is also correct. This one is also correct. This one is correct. This one is not. And this one is not either. Uh, can't really read that. Let's do it that way. And for this column, this one is correct, incorrect, incorrect, correct, incorrect, correct. And now we just count. So out of six, we have four correct ones here. And out of six, we have three correct ones here. So you could write two thirds and one half. And this is our result for the accuracy for P1 and the accuracy for P2.